Can you see me? <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Okay. Let me whoop. Excuse me. I got that in the way. All right. Let's get this party started. Hey, guys. Bam. All right, guys. This is Little Jackalope of the Amateur Sleuth Blog here at Herd Interactive. This is our first streaming on Twitch with one of our games. This is live. Now, just so you know, because of internet things, there is a 10 second lag. I will see your guys' um, comments right away, but you might not hear my response for 10 seconds. Um, everything else turned out to be working fine. So, just a few ground rules before we get started. Um, just a few basic things. Please don't give any spoilers out. If you know what the game is about and what is going to happen in this game, please don't give any spoilers like who the culprit is, um, what's going to happen next, um, anything like that. It would just spoil it for anyone who would be watching for the first time and who has not played the game. So, let me just check your comments real quick. <laughs> I know, I'm so glad I chose, I don't, I, I like Shadow Ranch too. And because it's like Valentine's Day coming up, I thought Shadow Ranch was like the most perfect game to play because there's, hint, there's a, a, a series of love letters between some historical characters. I thought that was perfect. So I, I've dressed up uh, just for the part. I'm even wearing cowboy boots. Um, not that you need any shoes to be playing this mystery. <laughs> yes, I love Bellevue. I am wearing cowboy boots. Uh, today, I'm going to play for... My goal is to play for about an hour, but with see, The Secret of Shadow Ranch, the game, the mystery, is broken up into three days. We're going to play until the end of day one, however long that takes. The goal is to get it done in an hour. And then we'll be back tomorrow night at the same time, and then Friday night. Now... If the game does go for a long time, we will carry this over onto Monday. So we'll be back then. <laughs> okay, yeah, and big request. Please, you guys, behave yourselves. We're trying to keep this to like a PG level in case we have any younger fans joining us and just because it's more comfortable for some more other fans too i'm looking at you clue crew <laughs> and if you be misbehave i will block you <laughs> okay who is ready to play the secret of shadow ranch Just watching your guys' comments. I've been watching you guys for like the past half hour since I started the slide for you. Woo! Sorry, that must have been a little loud. <laughs> All right, let me adjust. Yeah, let's do this thing. Let me adjust this to. All right, so there I'm on the top corner. Does it look right? So, here we go. Now, I've played this game several times before, uh, but it's been a while since I've played it, so I might ask for some help along the way, especially with the puzzles. Yeah, sorry. I won't be, I'll try not to be too loud. <laughs> Thank you, Summer. I'm glad you read the blog. Glad somebody does. <laughs> Um, I'm going to play on Junior just because Senior puzzles take a little bit longer. And I don't want to spend too long on the game because I just want to show you off the story and how it's played. All right. Oh, guys, before I forget, um, there are still Coco Kringles. So if you go to our website and order um, any of the Nancy Drew games, digital or physical, you will probably... Well, okay. I'm going to say you are going to be getting a Coco and Kringle if you order tonight. So, do that fast. <laughs> okay. 
Now, I would go Senior Coco, but <laughs> just for speed sake. All right, here we go. Okay, just to be sure, you guys can hear this okay, right? Your guys' comments are coming in so fast. Looking at your comments. The comments box are right right down here. Okay. Mm, okay, great. Alright, here we go. Welcome to my latest case, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Oh. To start, choose junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Gameplay Overview. Uh, no, there's still a few more people left working in the office. Sounds look good? Okay. I chose to play this late at night because a lot of the people are, are gone, So, but there are still a few people working because we're still busy on some new projects. All right, here we go, Junior Detective. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch, have been called away on some kind of emergency. They had Dave Gregory, he's their foreman, pick me up at the airport. He gave me a phone number, told me to call the Raleigh's at that number as soon as I got settled in, and refused to tell me anything else. In fact, he barely said two words to me the whole ride to the ranch. What's worse, Bess and George aren't here yet. Which is very strange, because even though we had to take different flights, we it's figured we'd get into Phoenix at about the same time. Being here without them feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about three months ago, the Raleigh's owned a clothing store. Bess said it was always their dream to sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. I hope they're okay, but frankly, as beautiful as Shadow Ranch is, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this place. Love, Nancy. Bell lover, um, it was it was it was my idea to stream the game because I enjoyed watching everyone else stream Nancy Drew games. I thought that sounds like fun. <laughs> we'll see how this stream goes, Summer, um, and then maybe we'll do it another game in the future. Thank you, you guys, for making Twitch accounts just to watch us. You guys rock. All right, so Shadow Ranch, here we go. We have no idea what's going on. Let's take a look. And you guys can see this, the game okay, right? <laughs> Let's start by making a phone call. Let's call Bess. Where are they? How come they didn't arrive at the ranch like I did? Hello? Hi, Bess. It's me. I'm at the ranch. Where are you guys? Omaha. Omaha? As in Nebraska? Our plane had to land here so they could fix some radio problem, and now they're saying... It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, George. Now they're saying we may be here for hours. Hours? You're kidding. Who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. So what's going on there? You're not going to believe this. Oh my gosh, you've got a mystery to solve, don't you? I can hear it in your voice. What's happened? Tell us. All I know so far is the Raleigh sent one of their ranch hands to pick me up at the airport instead of meeting my plane themselves. That is weird. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet at all. Are they there at the ranch? Nope. The ranch hand who picked me up told me I could reach them at this phone number he gave me. So what'd they say? I haven't called them yet. So call them! Yeah, and as soon as you do, call us. We're so bored. George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. George did? It's the only thing in the bookstore here that looked halfway interesting. So if you need to know anything that's even remotely related to 19th century fashion, let us know, okay? Sounds good to me. In the meantime, call Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet. I mean, not only have you got our curiosity going, but we're bored, Nancy. Bored! I hear you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? You better. Okay, then. Apparently, I should have called the Raleigh's first. 
We do not have a release date for Midnight in Salem yet. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy! Are you at the ranch? Yes, and I'm a little concerned that you're not. Is everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. How could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom, for Pete's sake. Rattlesnake? Did you say rattlesnake? I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yardstick, and all of a sudden it leapt up and bit him. How bad? Well, his arm swelled up something awful, and he was feeling pretty poorly by the time we finally got him here. I was fine. She's exaggerating. Oh, Ed, you wish. Anyway, dear, he's doing much better today, and the doctors think he'll be well enough to go home in a day or so. I'm well enough to go home right now. No, you're not. If I don't stay here with him, he'll get up and walk right out that door. No, I won't. What can I do to help you? Oh, nothing, dear. Absolutely nothing. Oh, you yes. just go get a horse from Tex. He's the head wrangler. And go riding to your heart's content. I told Shorty to go ahead with the cookout I planned for tonight and... The envelope. Have her take that envelope to Mary. Oh, good idea. There's an envelope in the roll-top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. We have a task at hand. I'll do it right away. Did you say I'd have to ride there? Because of the way the roads are set up around here, it takes longer to drive to her place from the ranch than it does to get there on horseback. Horseback? Dave will tell you how to get there. She's going to have to get the key to the desk from him, too. Oh, that's right. I always lock the roll top. Dave has the key. Dave has the key. Oh, dear. It seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you. The horse, bed. Tell her about the phantom horse. Did he say phantom horse? Yes. You see, last night we... Hello, Mr. Raleigh. Time for those tests. Uh-oh. We have to go. Don't worry about us, dear. You just go have fun. Just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's gonna be another hot one. Bye! No, wait. Just tell me about the... Phantom horse? Phantom horse? horse? <laughs> Alright, so we need to get the letter out of the desk, and the key is with Dave. Okay, so I think we need to find Dave. <laughs> Welcome, Canada. Glad you're watching. <laughs> Look, it's Dave, you guys. You talked to the Raleigh's? I sure did. Do you think Ed's gonna be all right? He'll be okay. Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but it sounds like he's out of the woods. Bet said something about a phantom horse. Do you know what she was talking about? This glowing horse came galloping up out of the dark, making a real ruckus. Everybody woke up and went running outside to look. It reared up a couple times, then spun around and went racing off the way it came. Dave. By the time anybody thought about going after it, it had disappeared. It was glowing? It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're going to be asking me a lot of questions, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I bugging you? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Amateur detective. Amateur. It's just kind of a hobby. I'm going to be honest with you, ma'am. We were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge job. over what happened I last night, well, well, this is not summer. a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. Let's get right to the point. The Raleigh's asked me to take something out to Mary Yazzie's, but it's in the den in the roll-top desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Great, thanks. You guys are arguing over uh, Frank, Joe, and Ned, and Dave. Have you guys seen the um, Amazon shirts that we've got up in the store? They're only available for this month. It says, um, Ned Nickerson holds the key to my heart. And then there's a Frank version that says, Frank uh, Hardy holds the key to my heart. She gets, she get those t-shirts. To get to Mary's shop, just follow the trail that goes northeast out of the corral. Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. Why not? No idea. Not really any of my business. How do you think that rattlesnake wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Night time's when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Could somebody have put it there? Guess it's possible. Person would have to know how to handle snakes, of course, but then if you work in the desert, that's one of the things that's good to know. 
She heaped. What kind of uh, Amazon shirt did you get? I talked to my friends, Bess and George. Their plane's been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. All right, we got the key. Yay! Pajama top. I like that. Woo! My antiperspirant's going to get a workout today. Whoops. Well, there's Shorty. I haven't met him yet. Let's get to that desk. Inventory key. Here we go. I love these world top desks. My parents used to have one. So cool. You can lock it. Okay. Oh yes, this notebook has been used in several of our games in the past for art. Hmm. The Raleigh sold a trunk full of junk to Mary Yazi. <laughs> Summer, because the classic, um, the classic battle has always been between Frank or Ned to pair up with Nancy. That's why we only made the Frank Hardy t-shirt and the Ned Nickerson t-shirt. Okay, so items that we Ooh, an interesting box was sold to Mariazzi. Uh, we're gonna need to investigate that. Yeah. To Ed and Bent Raleigh, just because you fired me, don't make another mistake and think that you've heard the last of me because you haven't. We all know that I deserved a second chance. Letting me go without giving me one just was just plain wrong. In fact, know what your problem Sounds is? Sounds like this Jane Nash person has it out for the Raleighs. You don't believe in justice, but see, I do. That's the way my brother and I were raised. Justice always prevails, although sometimes it needs a little help. You'll see, Jane Nash. So Jane has it out for the Raleigh's. Oh dear. Uh, I really want to pick up that key right there. <laughs> Alright, there's the note. That's what we need. Ooh. Um, things. Gears? Handles? I know what they are. That it. Were those floppy disks? Those were floppy disks. Who remembers floppy disks? Alright. This is the den. Nice place to hang out. I know. I love this music. It's so casual and fun. Just, It's very atmospheric for this game. It really makes the environment so much better. All right, let's see if we can't uh, steal a horse. Well, hello there. You got <laughs> some friends back there? Bob. Okay, who's which? Which horse is your favorite? Are you loyal to Bob? Horsey. Tex would have a cow if I rode bareback. <laughs> Oh, you guys should totally um, retweet our last tweet on Twitter. If you've got a Twitter account, let everyone else know that we're we're in the hearts of playing the Shadow, Shadow the Secret of Shadow Ranch. Can't even talk. All right, Tex. So which one are you? I'm the mean one. The nice one? The Raleigh said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. I take it you're one of them. Yes, I'm Nancy Drew. And you are? I'm Grumpy. the head wrangler. You want a ride, you come to me. You prove to me you know what you're doing, I may just let you. Change the subject. Did you see the Phantom Horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Now if you want to ride, listen up. First thing you're gonna do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves. And unless you got a full canteen of water, you can wear that hat over there. It's Mrs. Raleigh's. Got a helmet built right in. Her gloves are on the saddle you'll be using. And you can get a canteen from Shorty. Then you're gonna saddle and bridle your horse. No need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. Then you're gonna lead them to the mountain block in the corral and mount up. Then I'm gonna ask you some questions. 
You can't ride outside the corral till you get all the answers right. Thanks, Bell Lover. If I don't know something, can I just ask you? Nope. When you're done riding, you're gonna <laughs> dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off and put them back where you got them. Always keep your gloves with your saddle. Do these horses ground tie? Yep. If you get off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And bar in an earthquake or something, <laughs> old Bob will stay put. Bob? Who's Bob? The bay over there. Name's Bob. That's who I'm putting you on. <laughs> May I go riding now? Nope. With the Raleigh's gone, the ranch is real short-handed. Oh. Before you ride, you're gonna have to go see if Shorty's got any chores. That chores! Gotta get a canteen from him anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Talk to you later. If you last that long. If I last that long. Honey, I've been through a lot. I've lasted many second chances. Um, well, I can't really. I shouldn't pick that up yet. Alright, I've got the helmet. Helmet hat is what it is. Woo! Okay. I guess we'll just have to go talk to Shory now, huh? Yay, chores. Hi, Audi. Hey, we're twinsies. Hey, you must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the <laughs> Raleigh's, right? I have, and I still can't believe what happened to Ed. That is creepy, isn't it? But the horse, that was even creepier. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night when all of a sudden this glowing horse comes galloping up outside. Thank it you, stops Bella. and rears and paws, whinnying and snorting. Then it just wheels around and gallops off into the night. It was Dirk Valentine's horse, you know. Now Valentine? It's a phantom. Dirk Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it he was in love with Francis Humber. She lived like right here on Shadow Ranch. Unfortunately, her daddy was the sheriff. Ooh, daddy was a sheriff. Uh, some of the chores I do like. Uh, I do not like the vegetables. I am very bad at picking vegetables. So you'll probably see a second chance sometime surrounding the vegetable picking because of me. Ouch. Because of him, Valentine was captured and eventually hanged. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert, cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. What a great story. Story? All I know is, Ed Raleigh sees the horse, and what happens less than two minutes later? He gets bit by a rattlesnake. You do the math. Tex said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. Music to my ears. First thing you can do for me is go out to the garden and pick all the ripe vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? Um, yeah? Of course. You bet I do. Good, because if you pick vegetables that aren't ripe yet, I'll be real ticked. You can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging outside. And one more thing. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. I'll light it when I'm ready to start cooking. And be sure to fill the bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. You know, just in case something catches on fire that isn't supposed to. The <laughs> Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight, and by golly, we're gonna have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Cookout! Yay! Who doesn't love a good cookout? Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. <laughs> yeah, I know. The vegetables. Does anyone else just save their game before they start that? I mean, even though you get a second chance if you mess up, you still save your game before you do that chore. <laughs> I know, their romance story is really cute. It's sad, though. It's like bittersweet. Okay. So, we need to um, build a campfire and pick vegetables. So... Let's see, where are those sticks? Wait, to build a campfire. I know how to build a campfire. What we need is, um, what we need is some newspaper to help start first. But, wait. Well, it's hot outside, okay. Continue. 
little bit more. Bank robbers? There's bank robbers. $100,000. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Got some newspaper. Alright, let's try to find um kindling. Get it over there. Um, let's see. Um I forget where they're at. Well, you know what? We need to chop these anyways. Let's do that. Alright, puzzle. First puzzle. Uh so the center step, center, you mm -hmm. know. Oh wait. That's where we're stepping. That's right. Okay, so we'll need to be Positioning ourselves like right about there. Notice how that um um wedge. What is this called? <laughs> I'm not really sure, but it looks like a wedge. Uh, it's gonna be at this type of angle, and let's swing it. Oh yeah, call me Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. <laughs> That looks kind of like a sharp angle. Wedge. Yeah, wedge. Uh, this position, because notice where it is on that block. And swing. I heard a horse. Okay. Uh, wedge is a uh, centered angle. And it's positioned. Well, let's just step right about there. There. Just call me Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. I don't really don't think I'd be that skilled in real life, though. That's okay. Nancy can do everything. Aha! I knew there's one back here. Ah, nice. That's the one I always forget about. What's this? Wonder who wrote this. We'll need. It's an anagram. It looks like an anagram. We'll need more B if triangle V soon check. Well, okay. I don't have the decoder for this. I'll look for this. This must later. be where Shorty wants me to build a campfire. Nancy is a jack of all trades. I know, I've got a lot of uh, things in here. I should probably look at those, you know? Um, what do we start with? Let's start with this. So far, so good. Okay, good. I'm on the right track. I need more kindling. Oh, really? Aww. Okay, you guys. Where did I miss it? Where is that? That last kindling. Oh, wait, I think I know. Hey, look, cows! There's the rest of the kindling. Yeah, I just keep firewood in my purse. I keep all kinds of weird things in my purse. <laughs> Starting over. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah, thank you. Got it. Did I miss it by the house? I need more kindling. You're right. I did. I did miss it by the house. I thought I got all of it. By the house. Haha! -ha! You guys remember. Thank you. Okay, maybe Nancy will let us. Um, Make a fire now. I keep. <laughs> Try it again. So far, so good. I'm always good at this part. Not so good with. Uh, all that should do it. Yay! Sorry, that was a little bit long. There. One extremely well built campfire, if I do say so myself. Teamwork. Great looking fire, Nancy. Whee! Nice job. Actually, you'd be surprised at how many guys play Nancy Drew. And this bucket needs to be I'm filled with water. Yet. 
no, of course not, Nancy. Uh, what do we get? Water? What do we get? Water? Uh, pump house. That would make sense. Let's put the bucket in the tub. Yay, water. Hmm, what's this? Mm, that's right, there's nothing of interest here at the moment. Okay, we approach it here. Ta da! <laughs> she heaps. Uh, we'd love to post more behind the scenes stuff. We just gotta grab it, and uh, later, maybe when the next game comes out, we'll have some more fun behind the scenes uh, content. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I would post on the Amateur Seath blog. So follow that blog, and maybe you'll see some things. Okay, let's take a look. What do we got here? Got my notes. Task list! That's like the best thing about amateur sleuth is that you've got this handy dandy checklist so you can be on, on track of what it is you're supposed to be doing. Because I know when you leave a game, and you come back to it much later, you always forget where I'm at in the game. It's up to you, isn't it? It's We never see Nancy's face because there's so many different Nancys um, on the books, in TV shows. Everyone perceives Nancy a little bit differently because she has blonde hair in some, um, Titian hair or strawberry blonde in others, so it's kind of a sensitive matter. Someday we might show Nancy, but right now we don't have that plan. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Okay. Ask Dave for key. Yep. I'm finished with that. <laughs> Note to self. When a task has been completed, remember to check it off. And I already had that checked off. Nancy, you so funny. I know what the deal is with the phantom horse at the Raleigh's mansion. Well, it's going to take a while for me to figure that one out. Well, okay, we already have shown Nancy. We've shown her backside. Does that count? Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're picking vegetables now. Oh, 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 right. To see what kind of, what the vegetables are supposed to be when ripe. We go to the internet browser. Oh my goodness, Nancy has a smartphone back in, when was this game released? 2004? 2004. Harvesting vegetables, yep. Okay. Bell peppers. Romanian green doll. Okay. Oh, wait, this is the important one. Snap beans. Right? The beans on the left are underripe, the beans in the middle are ripe. So, um, snap, snap beans are ripe when they look like this. Somebody remember that for me. <laughs> Dry beans. The picture above. The middle. The middle is ripe here. So dry beans look ripe when they're like this. Dry equals wrinkly. Got it. Thank you. Fanny? You remember that. Okay, so you guys remember that snap beans have to look green and full. Dry beans need to look wrinkly and sunburnt. We'll say that. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. <clears throat> yeah, I've got my handy dandy um, 
notebook for taking notes here. Um, but it's easier if you guys just remember it for me. Or, you know, if I mess up, then that just makes for a fun second chance sequence. Okay. <laughs> Tomatoes, right. Beef steak. Is this beef steak or is it? Okay, okay. Tomatoes, there's a beef steak. Tomato is red. Beef steak is red. Northern lights are bicolored. Let's split up like that. So probably like this one. Old ivory egg. Oh, that's that's this one. Golden is the ivory one. Nancy has pretty much always had the same luggage. I have to double check on the newer games, but it's always been like that blue paisley. No, not paisley, uh, the blue floral. <laughs> Golden Queen is orange yellow. Golden Queen is that. Okay, hopefully that's all the information I need to actually solve this. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Okay, beefsteak. Uh, tomatoes, right? They're red when they're ripe. Golden Queens, they're like these golden ones, not white. Oh dear, black turtle. Which category were black turtles? I have to double check that again. Um, let's see, black turtles, black, nope. black turtle is, uh, okay, they have to look dry and wrinkly. Is that this one? I don't know about the black turtles. Who remembers the black turtles? You, you, you look at that and I'll... Romano. Okay. Yeah, I remember this one. It has to be like this. Northern lights. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. This looks okay. Um, you guys, I don't, I don't, I don't speak that language. English, please. <laughs> um. Black turtle. I keep thinking that this is one, and this is one, but that's just the wood. Okay, thanks, pal. Let's try this. Let's let's see if we. It's so hot. I should get these vegetables into shorty right away. Thank you, Nancy Drew fan. Thank you, guys. Pick those vegetables for me yet? <sighs> cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. <laughs> you betcha. Some of this stuff's overwrapped, but oh. I'll just pitch it. Okay. Now, second thing I need you yes. to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop, and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. Oh. It's kind of old. We picked okay vegetables. I forgot that it's okay to pick overripe vegetables, because he'll just throw them out, and he won't be mad. Ooh. Okay, we're going to go pick, get some eggs. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Got those Oops. eggs for me? Not yet. I need those eggs, Nancy. I need those eggs, Nancy. Excuse me, Dave. I gotta go collect some eggs. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. There's a hole in it. There's a hole in it. It's okay. I'm, I'm very handy. I can, I can do everything. Right click pieces to rotate. Puzzle! Yay! I love puzzles. Um, I think that goes there. <laughs> um, um, whoops. Let's get that out of the way. Yay! Okay, so when you can't pick it up again, that means it's correct. Okay, that one's obviously wrong. What? Let's try that. Yay! Okay, that's correct. 
and has anyone actually done real life basket weaving? I have once. It's really interesting. It's fun. You have to. Well, I've worked with um, wooden lattice basket weaving. The wood has to be really soaked before you can um, actually bend it. I still have that basket too. It's so cool. There we go. Right side up. Okay. And these are a little bit easier because it's jagged like that. That fits there. Check. Oh, I am skilled. There. Am I good or am what? Am I good or what? You got a Nancy Drew mug for Christmas? How awesome is that? Which Nancy Drew mug is it? Voila! Voila! Magnifique! Alright, now we can get the eggs. Nobody's got eggs for me! What the what? Nobody has eggs! Tea is good. Alright, you know what? We're gonna leave. I'm gonna wait five seconds for the hens. We're gonna go back inside and cross our fingers that, that uh, somebody's got eggs. Hey, look, an egg! Finally! Nope. Yes. Excuse me, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just gonna take that. And, you know, the, take that. What the what? Ow! Yikes! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. Yeah, that chicken is so special they put up a sign just for her. She's crazy. <sighs> okay, we'll wait a couple of seconds for the white chicken to go away. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a moment. She's still there! Okay. Well, you know. Let's try it again. Nope. Okay, maybe we've got to wait a, an X amount of time. In the meantime, let's read some notes. Get your chores done. Can't check that off yet. Oh. Find the vegetable basket. You can check that off. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Yay, I'm done with the chores there. Check. Oh, oh, right. Okay, so that check mark was because it was for calling the Raleigh's. Just gotta get my chores done. Feisty. Oh, it's a hard standard to follow. Hi, Dave. Go away! Go away! <laughs> okay, I'll go into the house and then, yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm in a different environment. Francis Humber. So that's what she looked like. Uh huh. Francis Humber. She was the one. She's a the sheriff's daughter who fell in love with the outlaw. Ooh, radio. Phoenix and surrounding areas will be hot and dry today with temperatures you guys expected that voice? to reach the mid 90s by five this afternoon. After that, temperatures will begin to drop with a nighttime low in the mid 60s. Most areas to the south and west of Phoenix can expect more heat for the next several days, while areas to the north and east should also expect rapidly developing thunderstorms. So if you're going to be hiking, biking, camping, or horseback riding, be aware that sudden downpours and flash floods are always a possibility at this time of year, and don't go into the wilderness areas unprepared. Fun fact, if any of you have read the original Nancy Drew book of The Secret of Shadow Ranch, like the blue first edition, or first printing, Nancy and her friends go out to the wilderness on their horses 
and they get lost on three separate occasions and the cowboys have to go out and find them. Yay, no chicken, go away, go away, no chicken. Got the eggs, yay! Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Uh, no, there's no real hidden Easter eggs in this game. Just fun little facts. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Oh, and you guys remember seeing that radio that we just listened to? It's... We reused that same radio, maybe just a different color, um, in several of our older games, too. It shows up first in Stay Tuned for Danger in the prop room. Uh, I've got my canteen of water, so you know what? I can now be friendly with Tex. Need something? May I go writing now? Yep. If you got everything I told you you need, and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses, old Bob's all yours. Talk to you later. No hurry. <laughs> I'm sort of a character in a game. Um, in Trail of the Twister, we've got the jackalope display in the museum slash store. Hmm, looks like someone's got mice problems. Woohoo! We've got a party going on, y'all! Alright, who remembers? You don't just throw the saddle on the horse. You gotta cinch it up! Although, I should just do this for fun. Just, okay, real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the horse out. Come on, Bob! Not completely cinched up. Get on the horse. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I better try that again. That's right, Nancy. You try that again. Oops. There we go. Make sure it's good and tight. Come on, Bob. Um, I created the name Little Jackalo, um, mostly because when I joined the team, I'm I ready. Love, I love jackalopes. And I was excited when Trail of the Twister had him, so I just made Ready myself for that. some questions. Oh no. I forgot <laughs> about this. I forgot that I have to pass this test for Tex before I can actually go out, and I did not do my research. I know that all the information I need are in the books, which we did not look at yet. They're the books in the in the den. Let's see if I can remember from the last time I actually played this. If not, we're gonna have to go back and look at those books. I think so. Where's the horse's hocks? Um, I don't remember. I don't have no idea. <laughs> um, um, front legs. On its front legs. Nope. No. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's frog? Oh, I thought that was the foot. The hoof. On the bottom of its hoof. That's one out of ten. Ask me something oh. else. How tall is a horse that's 15 hands? I think that's five feet. Five feet. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? There's like a 10 second delay. I don't know if I can keep if, if I can keep up with you guys. Okay, okay. Well, what's a Paso Fino? What Fino. kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? Is, is that Spanish for something? Uh, okay, okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Um, uh, paint. Oh, gated. Okay, I'll, I'll do gated. A gated horse. Three down. Seven oh, good. Down. Thank you. <laughs> gated. Ask me something else. How Thank can you tell you. if a horse is colicking? Colicking. Okay, I think I remember this one. It keeps lying down, then standing up. That's four right. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? I don't remember this one. Um, a bay, that's what Bob's writing. You remember him saying that? Um, it's not black points. A chestnut, chestnuts, chestnuts light brown, I think? A chestnut is light brown. Nope. No! 
Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? Appaloosas. Um, the Sioux? The Sioux. Nope. Black points? Okay, black points. I'll, I'll remember that next time. Ask me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Oh, founders. It's stomach. Nope. What? Oh, I thought it was... Oh, okay. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? I learned that lesson. The cinch. That's five. You're halfway there. Nose purse? Okay, good. Thanks. Ask me something else. What is a mule? Oh, yeah. Um, the offspring of a male horse and a female one? donkey. Nope. Nope. It was the other one. Okay. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's hocks? Okay, the front legs was wrong. Um, back legs? On its back legs. Bingo. Okay, good. That was number six. Ask me something <laughs> else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? Okay, black points. You guys said black points. I'm gonna go with that one. Um, I forget. Is it is it bay with black points? I think I think I think it's a this. bay has black points. Seven down. You're in the home stretch. Oh, ask okay. me something else. What <laughs> tribe bred the first Appaloosas? Okay, it was not the Sioux. So you guys said the Nez Pierce. I'm gonna go with that. The Nez Pierce. Eight right. Just two to go. Okay. Ask me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Didn't I answer this one already? No. Founders. 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 Uh, feet. It's feet. Maybe. This here's your final question. Okay, good. I'm ready. What is a mule? Okay, I got this wrong last time. It wasn't this one, but I thought for sure it was this one now. The Let's offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Well, you answered all the questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Just don't go galloping all over the place. Because if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. I like how he just keeps asking you the questions until you get it right. That just makes it so much easier. <laughs> Thank you guys for your help. Okay, uh, we gotta get okay, out of here. Okay, Bob, what do you say we do some sightseeing? We'll go deliver this to Mary. Looks like we've only got about 10 minutes left and we have not made much progress. I feel like I didn't get anything done. Okay. Hi, can I help you? Hi, are you Mary Yazzie? That's Mary. me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by I horse? I Mary's box. I'll finish day one. Okay. I don't remember, but I'll go with that. I rode here. I'm Nancy Drew. So where are you staying? Shadow Ranch. I heard what happened last night. Tough break for the Raleigh's. Getting that place going has been a real struggle for them. So you know the Raleigh's? Their property line starts where the back of this store ends. We've talked many times. Here, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Bad news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. Hi to the Russian fans. And I saw you, I saw the Canadian in here, so welcome, you guys. Shout out to you. I understand that you bought a trunk full of junk from the Raleigh's recently. Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. Have you asked the Raleigh's about it? They were no help, although they did offer to buy it back from me. I just told them to keep looking for a way to get it open. It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. That Here's... trunk looks really old. Would you mind if I try to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. This looks like it'll fit. I have no idea. 
Well, I do, but we need to open that. But someone here might know what EH and AH is. Like Wind Through My Heart by Charlena Purcell. Hmm, she knows more about what went on in the north yeah, in the nineteenth century Arizona than most historians. Let's give her a call. Directory. Call the romance writer for help. It won't let me enter those numbers unless I actually go through the sequence and call her. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, yes. my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? Concerning? I'm staying at a ranch in central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? Well, I came across a very old trunk Recognize that, that might contain too? stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine and Francis Humber. Only I can't open it. Did you say Dirk Valentine? And his girlfriend, Francis Humber, yes. Ah. Oh, would you hold, please? Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novel, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels, it recently received the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Reading a Charlena Purcell novel is like traveling through time to the Old Southwest on the wings of love. This is Charlena. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew? Tell me about the trunk you found. Well, it has a very weird three-hold locking mechanism on it. That does sound like it came from the Humber family. Is there any kind of picture on it? Yes, as a matter of fact, there's this kind of abstract design made up of <laughs> hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber. Frances <laughs> Humber's grandparents on her father's side. Her mother died when she was ten. Now, the picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was... 4-9-11. April 9th, 1811. How will knowing that help me open the trunk? You got me. In the course of my research, I've only read about the trunks Merrill and Eldridge Humber handcrafted. I've never actually opened one. However, I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. When I have enough tidbits have a friend stashed Abigail. away, I may well write a book about them. Then you'd probably be very interested to know what's in this trunk. Yes, I would. And since I've helped you, or tried to, it's only fair that you help me, don't you think? Sure, I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? This just gets better and better. I'll tell my assistant to put your calls through immediately. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Okay. 4911, you are correct, but I had to make sure I actually called her so I can get that in. Nancy has to know it. I mean, we might know it, but Nancy needs to know it. Ooh! I own a banjo, so I'm not very good at it, but. Ooh, what's this all about? Okay. Help the Rona Runner get to its hole before the coyote catches it. Oh, I love this game. Run, buddy, run! Run, coyote! I mean, road runner, run, road runner, run! <laughs> Is there anyone else having issues with the channel? I think I just got myself stuck. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> the arrow keys have not been. Actually, I'll, I'll try the arrow keys. I'll try it. No, arrow keys do not work at this on this one.
do 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 get him to follow me do 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 um well then I think I just got myself stuck uh Ugh, I think I got myself stuck. I'm gonna reset that. Right, I gotta get this guy to follow me. Whoops! Oh, nuts. I just ruined it. I went too far. <laughs> okay. I will get this. I will get this. Or something. Alright, it's six o'clock at my time. Oh, thank you guys. Um, I'm gonna play for I'm gonna play for another ten minutes and see how long it takes me. Um, we'll play it out a little bit more. Let's do that. Something goes here. No, really? Um, clock hours, yes. Uh, what was it? 4, 9, 11? Let's see this. Okay, midnight. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, 8, 9. Okay, uh, 9, 10. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. Thanks, Beth. I like how you're able to take any of these objects and just walk around throughout the entire game with a pair of scissors or a frying pan or skillet. <laughs> and of course you won't get anywhere. Ooh, cool. This is cool. I wonder how you open this. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I know what happens next. Giddy up, Bob. Yeah, Nancy has to state the obvious because, well, she thinks out loud. Sometimes thinking aloud helps. Come on, Bob. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to take Bob out again. Oops. Do I have to really uncinch it? Can I just grab it? Oops! No. Aha! There we go. Looking for the right cursor. Barrel racer. Nice. Has anyone ever tried that? It looks intense. Like in real life. Okay. I'm carrying this big, huge... I mean, Nancy could carry around a saddle in her bag. She's carried weirder stuff in her bag all the time anyways. Oh, uh-oh. I'd better put that back. Oh, look, you guys! It's a Coco and Kringle! She's just like, I got, I, got, I got a Coco Kringle wrapper up here. You guys can get one tonight if you ordered an Nancy Drew game. Jay Nash. I remember Jay Nash was in that nasty letter to the rallies to Tex Britain. Happy birthday! Aw, that's a cute card. Oh my gosh, Jane Nash is Tex's sister. Motive for Tex to be the bad guy? His sister is really upset. How close do you think he is with his sister? Mm-hmm. Tex? You still here? Of course I'm still here. You sound surprised. You and your friends, if they ever show up, you ain't gonna last more than three days out here. 
I like this line. Well, I hope you like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged, too much work, too dangerous. Ooh, shall we confront him about Jane Nash? It's the Nancy thing to do. I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? Yeah, please use English in the chat because some of us can't translate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't... I only speak English. <laughs> Are you coming, confiscating my cocoa kringle? Good point. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I didn't. Um. It's okay. I have more. <laughs> I found a pretty nasty letter from someone named Jane Nash in the Raleigh's desk. That don't mean it was my sister. <laughs> hey, you've been snooping, haven't I, you? I really don't. In the Raleigh stuff, in my stuff. I don't. I don't know who who that was. It's, um, <clears throat> it was, the hallway was totally empty, and there was no one there. Um, tip, that was actually just a wrapper that I had, um, put magnet, a uh, magnet, magnet, it. Oh. Really, if you guys can still hear me, my camera just shut off. So, I will be one moment. Oh, that's because I muted it. Whoops, I'm sorry. We had um, a bit of a sabotage happen here. Uh, but we're back. We're going to play for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Okay, can you hear me now? Yay, okay, great. <laughs> um, the... the the, the, the culprit brought back, brought back the wrapper. We're good. We've got it back. Do I have... Oh. You're right. Well, hang on one second. Fixed. Fixed. 
That's funny you guys are able to see that. Okay. Okay. Back on track. Woo! <laughs> okay, anyways. I have been snooping through your stuff. But... I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You Thanks, need to guys. go. I'm busy. I'm busy. I like this, I like this, I like this. Always check your girth before hitting the trail. Looks like Texas grandpa. triggered day one yet or end of day one yet but I didn't actually look at this something goes here oh look blankets how fascinating so that had an image of a clock my first game that's not the right time must be broken um where the color of those birds I totally missed what color those birds were. What were those birds? Let me take a look. Uh, my first game was actually a message in a haunted mansion because that was the first when when MHM came out um, into the stores. All three of the first games came out in the stores. So as soon as it came out in the stores is when I noticed it with my sisters. So we got that one first, and then we played Safety for Danger, and then we played Secrets Can Kill. Right. Okay. So I need to write this one down. The red bird? Yeah. Uh, light blue. And yellow. Uh, favorite memory of working at Her Interactive? Uh, I don't think I have a favorite memory. There's a lot of good memories. Uh, probably getting to taste a Cocoa Kringle for the first time. And I got to say, like, I'm the first fan who ever got to try it first. And now we've got him back again. Um, I, uh, I do a lot of things. I do a lot of graphics on the website. Oh. Wow, I not even paying attention. I need to note what those colors were on this clock. Okay, so red is 12. Light blue, not the dark blue, is 2. And yellow is 7. The chocolates, they taste like really good chocolate. And they have like a crispy, what is it? Crisp rice? Yes, crisp rice. So it's similar to a crunch bar, but better chocolate. And it's milk chocolate too. So if you're into milk chocolate, it's phenomenal. But that's just my opinion. You guys should try it for yourself. All right, red is 12. Light blue is two. So that's 12 noon, one, two, and yellow. Move all the way around to Ooh, I've seen this before. M H M H Puzzle. I love this kind of puzzle. Ten. It's kind of like it's a memory game. Ten, twelve. Eight? No. 10, 12, 10, 12, 4. I'm just going to write this down just because. 10, 12, 4, 8. 10, 12, 4, 8, 2. Oops. 10, 12, 4, 8, 6, 2. Done. Yeah, that's right. I was, um, when Secret of, oh, that's cool. 
When Secret of the Scarlet Hand came out, that's when I learned how close her interactive's office was to where we lived. So we actually um, uh, emailed them asking if they needed any more testers, and at the time they were asking for testers to actually come into the office and test, um, like focus group test, the games, the mini games, the puzzles inside the game. So um, they'd get feedback for if, if we understood it, if it was too hard or too easy, or if it made sense. So yes, I was an advisory panelist with my younger sisters, and um, that way I just developed This doesn't a, look like it was ever opened. Ooh. I developed a relationship with those people here at the company, and when I was in college, I asked if they would take me as an intern, and they're like, yeah, we know you. We'll take you as an intern, and then it just took off from there. Started off as an intern, and now I'm working here full-time. Well, I've been here for like five years now. As usual, things did not work out like I planned. Just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. But no matter what you hear, nothing is gonna happen to me. I will be fine and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. I like vexing your brain, because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. I am sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours, and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. Nine, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. Dirk. P.S. I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you. This is so sweet. By the way, um, just because I already know this, those numbers there are just the letters of the alphabet. So A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3. And that right there, it says, I love you. Aw, Dirk. These are the letters that were confiscated. She never got this letter. Francis never got this letter. Ooh. So sweet. Okay, guys. Um, it is a little after 6.15, but... Since I have recharged a battery, and let me check the audio here. We're still good on the audio. I'm gonna continue for a little bit longer. If stuff starts to die or stuff is like taking too long, then I'm gonna stop. But I really wanna make it to end of day one. So we'll see. Meryl Humber. July 4th, 1882. Got sworn in as sheriff. It was the 4th, so it's like all them celebrations was for me. Which of course they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. Looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back give it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She's 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. She likes Harrison's yellow. I just wrote that down. Uh, we have a lot of reading to do, so we'll just start with reading this page here, and then we'll come back to the rest later. Okay, let's check our task list here. That's, I haven't done that. I'm finished with that. That's done. Okay, these are all good. Um, let's, um, let's, let's, let's call, uh, the Raleigh's about, about Mary. Hello? 
Hi, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy again. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy. I can hear that. How is Mr. Raleigh doing? Let's get something straight right now. Even though we're Bess and George's aunt and uncle and not yours, I want you to call us Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed too. Got that? All right. Good. Now, what was the question? How is Mr. Raleigh? I mean, Uncle Ed doing? Well, he's running a slight fever, so the doctors are a little concerned. Oh, I'm fine. They're going to keep him here overnight, just to make sure he isn't developing some kind of infection. Oh, but enough about us. How are you doing? I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazzie like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. Yeah, streaming does take a while, but I do want to keep playing. <laughs> the scariest Nancy Drew game for me, um, Tasha Bree. Uh, the one that actually scared me a lot was... I'm a chicken. Uh, the Captive Curse scared me because there were some jump scenes that I did not expect. I literally fell out of my seat here in the office when I was testing it or playing it for the first time. I was working here at the time. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> What does she want the property for? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. I heard about the phantom horse. Was last night the first time it showed up? As far as I Am know, I cutting in and out? it was the strangest thing. Shorty kept babbling about how it was the ghost of the horse that belonged to some outlaw. Dirk Valentine? But that was right after Ed got himself bit, and we were all running around trying to get him into the truck to take him to the hospital, and I really wasn't paying much attention. Okay. Do you have any idea where the horse came from? None whatsoever. She wants to know where that phantom horse came from. I was hoping she could tell us. You're the detective, dear. If you want to snoop around and see what you can find out about that creature, by all means, please do. <laughs> Ethel, yeah. Ethel was creepy. Only because she just jumped out of nowhere. And she was always so pleasant to talk to. I'll be in touch. All right, dear. Bye now. Okay. <laughs> That's check. Can't check that off till it's done. Figure out where the rock pictures are. The Dirk Valentine. Okay. Rock pictures. Rock pictures. Where's my notes here? Do -do 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 -do. I wrote something down. Um. Pardon me. Being noisy. My notes. Oh, 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 I forgot to do something. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking aloud. I totally forgot. Oh, wait, I don't need to be there for that. That's right, I had this piece. And, and, and I wanted to open this. F. H. Francis Humber? Aw, Francis and her dad had matching pocket watches. Each with a secret hiding place underneath. Wow. Okay. Seven one. Seven one eleven. Yay. Green bottle under... Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Uh, yes, there are um, one or two other people in the office at the moment. <gasps> and she'll be coming around the mountain when she goes... Old lady. Old lady. I can't take any more. Where are you going? You can't leave. 
The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great! If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. <laughs> I love that quote. I think I'll turn in, too. Night, ma'am. Next yeah. time, just stick to burgers. At two, Brute. You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I'll write a best-selling cookbook, that's what I'll do. Then I'll get my own TV show, then I'll do a movie. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! I made that fire. I made that fire with you guys' help. Oh my gosh! Oh. Shadow Ranch next morning. And you say this happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. That's what someone wants you to think, Aunt Bet. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That, I don't know. Yet. yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can you think of any reason why someone might want you off the ranch? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storms. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding, because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. So someone may be trying to scare the Raleigh's off the ranch. That's a suspicion. So next up on my list of things to do is to call Sheriff Hernandez and then um, interrogate interrogate, ask, or question the other suspects about their thoughts about the phantom horse, if they saw it, or whatever. And off screen, I think I need to look up what lamb ragu is. I have no idea what lamb ragu is. But, anyways, I will be saving my game. And, let me just bump myself up a little bit here okay so thank you guys so much for your first help for your help in playing this game and thanks for joining me uh, we'll be playing tomorrow at this time at 5 p.m. that's Pacific time um, if you want to see what the uh, the other time if you need to translate the time zones uh, we've got that in our graphic uh, up on our website and the blog and on our uh, social media pages so Thanks again, guys, and don't forget about the Coco Kringles that uh, we still have available if you order a Nancy Drew game. And don't forget about the two contests that we have running right now. So for the weekend, if you want to get a jump on any of those, you could do that. There's the Nancy Drew Moments contest, which you could win a trip to, trip to Salem. That ends um, the end of this month, I believe. And then the Nancy Drew Valentine's Day card contest, which is coming, the end is coming up here soon end of day valentine's day and that has a collection of prizes that you could win in three different categories actually um so yeah thanks thanks for joining me you guys uh and thank you so much so i will see you come back tomorrow night you guys take care and stay sleuthy yes it has been fun have a good night